Like having to split your time. We just got COVID tested here at the airport, at the Guadalajara airport, and I had to get it, Emily had to get it, and Melody had to get it. It actually wasn't that bad, so it wasn't as bad as people make it seem, I guess. I thought that because it was here at an airport, it was going to be more like, um, like rough, but it wasn't. It was actually pretty smooth, so right now we just have to wait. 25 minutes and hope that we don't got the bug or the germ or anything which hope I'm praying I'm pretty sure we don't but yeah if you guys are gonna be traveling to Mexico you guys are going to have to get tested to go back to the state so we just got our results in and we're all negative thank baby Jesus huh you dad where we're here. still going into the airplane. We're still in Mexico, baby. We're not in Chicago. It's the airport. I got to a lado. I got to a lado. Can I see your mama? I, I don't mama, need to. Mama, cars can't drive through here. I know, but still. So, thank baby Jesus. We don't got the bug, y'all. But I was low-key freaking out. I was like, have, I know I can't be the only one. Like, just because I'm getting tested, I'm scared. Like, I'm... Is that a fucking bug? <laughs> I'm like low key scared that we might have it, maybe. Because I did have it in the past, but I'm like, no, if I had it, I know the symptoms, I know. I don't know, it's just weird, maybe it's just me. But thank God. So now it is approximately, let me see. It is 12 It is 12 27, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see. 12 27. My plane does not board until. 7:40 a.m. So, with that being said, we get to be here. I had the earliest I could check in is 4, 4 a.m. So, we're gonna go get something to eat and see what we can do. My parents didn't really wanna leave me, but I might just tell them to get going, you know. But all right, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Currently 2.31 and we ate and we're exhausted. Melody's right there. Emmy's right here. My mommy bear's right here. And we're all just as equally as exhausted and annoyed. Out of Mexico gotta get their shit together because this timing sucks ass. We're making it. We're gonna make it. It is officially. What time is it? I mean, look at. 4:48. Look at how crazy my face looks, guys. This fucking mess. It's 4:48. I have Melody playing. I have Melody playing in the um, airport play place thingy. But we're almost there. We're gonna go eat right now at Chili's. And chill, show them, show them the Chili's. We're gonna go eat at Chili's. It's somewhere over there. And then we're gonna hang out, but we're letting Kiki get tired. And you guys, let me just tell you guys right now. If you guys are planning to travel back to the States from, I don't know if it was just a Mexico thing. It is such a fucking hassle during security checkpoint and all that shit. They asked me to create an account for like help, the health health questionnaire or some shit like that and then aside from that we still had to provide the COVID testing I thought that's where it was gonna end in the COVID test but clearly it didn't so I'm just saying if you guys you guys have to be patient and that's it all right let me just show you guys a little bit of what Kiki's doing so you guys can see I took off my nails except one this one and this one so I look a little ratchet right now but it's okay because my nail tech knows I'm coming, I'm coming. So, we're gonna get all of this fixed, guys. Holy shit, I don't know why I think I'm getting old, but this has been one of the longest trips of my life. Cannot, I feel exhausted, guys.
is crazy, y'all. I came to get a bite because we tried to have Burger King earlier downstairs and it was fucking ridiculous. It was horrible, so don't spend your money there. What's up guys? It is officially the next day. Yesterday, um, we didn't vlog anymore because we were literally fucking dead. We were like zombies. And then Emily leaves right now. I'm actually about to go to the airport and drop her off because she's off to Texas to see her daddy. How do you feel, Emmy? Do you feel jet lag? Hey, it's too much. Oh, my poor baby. Um, so I'm on my way to take her to Midway now. There's a fucking skeeter and it's inside. Watch, watch, watch these skills, watch these skills. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Where is it? That's a fue It's dead though. I'm gonna beat your ass, stupid. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to throw it. You. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is on me? <laughs> Garbage. God, this kid's gonna get her ass whooped before she leaves to fucking <laughs> Texas. Mean, it's but, not um, dead. Yeah, guys, I'm on my way. We're gonna get rid of this kid now. See, I was feeling a little sad about getting rid of her. Now I was like, get the fuck out. <laughs> she does dumbass. She does the dumbest <laughs> shit. I swear to God. <laughs> But este, yeah guys, so yesterday was just too much. It was too much going on. We got home. We ended up ordering some pizza and just falling asleep for a while. And we, boy and I at night, we actually went out because we needed some us time. So we went out for a little bit and yeah, so this is where we're at. Jesus. Those are skills. Why doesn't it die? I don't like touching blood. I don't like to fucking die. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. There goes my Emmy. She's leaving. I'm back home, you guys. It's official. My baby's gone for the summer. She's off with her. Like I told you guys earlier, she's off to Texas. And I don't know why, guys, but um, it's. I guess it's like it's. If you guys are divorced, if you guys went through not that i'm divorced now but if you guys went through a divorce you guys know oh my god why am i getting so emotional i fucking hate this part <sighs> you 
it just wouldn't be real if I didn't tell you guys like maybe some of you guys go through this but <sighs> let me get myself together <sighs> like having to split your time having to split your time up is always like it's sucky it sucks you know it's like <sighs> It's never fun. You know what I mean? Like I hate like even for holidays, like it's and I and I know it's only fair. He has to have his time with her too, you know, like it, it would be very selfish of me to not to not let him see her and I would never do that. But um it just sucks. Like I like it <clears throat> it just sucks. It never it never gets any easier. You would think, like, because it it's, like, an every year thing. Like, every year he gets half of the summer and I get half of the summer. You would think I would be used to it by now, but I'm really not. Like, I always get so emotional every time she has to go. Like, I wish I could just, like, keep her all the time, you know? But, um, yeah, this is, this is part of it, guys. It's part about, it's part of, um... A blended family thing I guess you know and don't get me wrong like um I, I love I love how he is with her I love her stepmom Emily's stepmom and me have a really good relationship which is awesome if you guys are co-parenting my biggest advice to you guys is just having the best relationship possible with you know with your ex and with his new partner if there's a new partner involved is always the easiest it's always it's just awesome like i can't express i can't explain how great co-parenting has been ever since we all made you know <sighs> ever since we all you know started to pretty much understand and put all of our differences to a side because I'm not going to sit here and say oh you know it's always been great because it wasn't at some point you know we were all in our feelings with you know it's just like you know when you're fresh off of a divorce like you just pretty much fucking hate each other let's be real that's just part of what it is so it's like now that everybody is where they're supposed to be where everything just fall just falls into place like it's awesome like we get along really cool. I think, hell, I think I text his new wife more than I text his ass for <laughs> for stuff. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Anyway, guys, let's continue with our day. Hashtag Chiyona life. And you know what? The only reason, like I said, the only reason I record it is because it's it just happens all the time. Like I said, you would think I wouldn't get emotional anymore because it's a thing that happens every year but I still get emotional and I have friends that go through it or I have friends that are just going through it and they're always they always tell me like how are you so positive how are you how do you always keep it together how do you like get along with his with his wife now and how, like they can't get there and I just want to tell you guys like I wasn't always there I'm still not there you guys just saw like I always I always have a fucking meltdown and when it's for the holidays it's fucking worse like I still cry, I still feel bummed, I still get sad, but I try to just see the the positive side from it. I just try to always say, okay, Lucero, like, no seas egoísta, like, you know, también él, él merece tenerla, so, you know, this is just something we all have to learn to get used to it. We all have to normalize the fact that, you know, when you split up, everybody goes their own way. Everybody, you know, gets remarried. So we all just have to start normalizing that. I don't, I can't stress it enough. I hate how people always like side eye you and shit when, when they find out that you all get along. It's like, it's stupid. Like, let's all grow the fuck up and just, you know, it is what it is. Maybe I'll, I'll do you a video, um, for you guys of how crazy it was prior to being where we're at now. Who is calling me? Oh, my mama's calling me. I'll see you guys in a bit. Don't fuck with my vibe. 
Matter of fact, bitch, you fucking on my heart. Quit playing, why you acting all shy? You know I wanted to fuck when I told you I was a slut.